Greetings friends. This is Survival Doc. After a disaster or some type of an emergency, if we don't have electricity to run our washing machines or if water is in short supply, we need to look at alternate ways of washing our clothes. Of course we can use this old-fashioned method, the washboard, but I found something that I believe is even better. Now I visit estate sales quite often and I buy items like this. This is uh, an item that's probably a hundred years old. This is something that people used to use uh, to wash their clothes. Now I restored this. I uh, treated the, uh, the wood with a tongue oil. Also, this was uh, slightly, lightly rusted, and so I took some um, steel wool and smoothed this down, and I painted this with zinc paint. This is 93% uh, per, uh, zinc paint, and uh, that's a method of cold galvanizing it. So I did uh, restore this thing. But this is a clothes washer, and here, here's how it's used. I have two buckets here. This will be the wash bucket and this will be the rinse bucket. Let's add a little soap. You can use any kind of soap. I'm putting a little all-natural dish soap in there. Here's my shirt. And the way that this gets your clothes clean is it forces water through the material. So it's much easier on your clothes than the old rub against the washboard method. I could have used a little bit less soap here, I guess. It doesn't take much water and it doesn't take much soap. And that should do it. Then I'll add it to the rinse bucket. Put more in here. Then you rinse it the same way. You can wash two or three items at a time. I'm washing just one at a time. Now, after washing a few items, when your soap water gets dirty, what you can do is you can throw out your soapy water, add a little more soap to your rinse water, and use your rinse water as your soap water, and add some clean water to your other bucket and use it for the rinse water. Doesn't take much soap. I think I used a little bit too much soap. I'm gonna to have to rinse this twice. Next time I'll use less soap. And you may wonder where you could get something like this. Well, I found mine as, a, as I said at an estate sale. I, I restored it. I've actually discovered that you can buy these. I found out that emergency essentials, I received their catalog and 
they actually have one listed in here. Of course, this one is a modern version. It's made out of plastic, and they call it the Mobile Washer hand-operated washing machine. So if you can't find one like I did at an estate sale, you can actually still buy these from uh, emergency suppliers such as from Emergency Essentials. And when it comes time to dry your clothes, if you don't have electricity, of course the best way to dry your clothes is to use a solar clothes dryer. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. But before we end this video, I want to show you my high-tech solar clothes dryer. I'm actually thinking about applying for a patent on this thing. The tribulation is a Talk to you.